Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Here is my Beretta APX Carry. I just got it back from customer service yesterday on September 1st. I had some issues with it. I made a video on March 25th explaining what was going on. It took me completely by surprise. I had no issues with this gun prior to being at the range that day. I had many people saying, hey, when are you going to follow up with that? We want to know how their customer service was. So that's what this video is about. But if you did not see the video on March 25th, I'm going to go ahead and play a few clips with that now and then come back and talk more about the customer service experience. Now the problem that I'm having is light primer strikes. So check this out. Nothing. So maybe that's a tough primer. All right, gun is in battery. And then another problem. Nothing. Worked. And then nothing. Let me get rid of that round. Gun is in battery. Everything's fine. And then nothing. That it has a very light primer strike. I'm not sure the camera will pick that up. But that's what's going on with the Breda APX. A um, little disappointing, but we'll have to see how the customer service is with Beretta. All right, so it was clear that I was having light primer strikes. I contacted Beretta immediately, but that was right during the shutdown. And so they said they weren't taking any firearms in until May 1st. And then I contacted them on May 1st. But prior to that, they said they are working remotely from home. Every voicemail they would respond back within 24 hours i left several voicemails and never received one phone call back from beretta i just wanted to, some direction you know what what is the process for sending this in they said you have to do everything on their website well if you look at their website it's not the easiest customer service areas to navigate you know it, it took a little bit of thinking and working it through to actually create a report about the issue and even then it was ignored mainly because of the shutdown but they said they would contact back and they never did i continued to leave voicemails now the email that i used was not my youtube email you know the firearm guy it was my personal email because i didn't want any special treatment because i make videos i thought you know what I, i'm just a regular guy just like you guys, but I happen to make videos, but I don't want any bias toward me, positive bias, because of that. So I used my own personal email and I gave no indication at all that I made video reviews or that I posted a video on March 25th. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I made the report and they actually created the label and sent a UPS guy to my house like two days later took me by surprise and this was shipped out on may 18th i received it back on september 1st which was approximately three and a half months i had no idea this was coming back when it did you know i, I was very much surprised that it was on its way and the communication from beretta to me was horrible but my communication to them was pretty consistent i continued to uh, reach out to them i received no information back they kept saying go check the website so i checked the website and it would say you know it's it's in progress that was about all i got it was in progress then it was waiting to be inspected now prior to all this people said why don't you just clean out the striker channel i could have done that that would be no big deal however i wanted to check out their customer service and this gun really did not have a lot of rounds through it i went ahead and took it to the range to function check this and i brought a couple different types of ammo to see what was going on and i have to say i no longer experienced primer strikes but i had a couple other issues let's take a look at what happened here is the breda apx carry with the eight round magazine these are my first shots after receiving it back from their customer service i am running smb brass case 115 grain ball ammo Let's see how it goes. So far, so good. Here we have tool steel case, 115 grain 
nine millimeter. Let's see how it handles these. Not as accurate as, as, as I would like, but it's running all the rounds. Here we have 124 grain self-defense ammo made by LTAC Enterprises. I've got the six round mag for this. Let's see how it does. We'll start with the center circle. All right, sticking with the six round magazine, I alternated brass and steel case ammo and I'm going to rapid fire the APX carry. We'll try that tombstone down below. All right, one of the brass cases didn't eject. And a round popped out when I went to lock the slide back. Let's try that again. Another failure to eject. We'll lock the slide back, drop the mag. And that last one went over. Six rounds, S and B brass case. Let's try rapid fire. All right, there we have a double feed. We'll lock the slide back, drop the mag. Failure to eject was the issue. Same thing right there. I am not going lightning quick here. See if that'll come out. All right, looks like two or three more. And that's it. After all was said and done, there was more said than done. I don't care that it took three and a half months. Okay, I understand that the whole country was shut down for a while and they may have been overloaded. The lack of communication was poor. The lack of information about what happened was poor. And the fact that it's still not running that great is disappointing. Now, they did send back this in the, in the box for shells of nine millimeter tells me that they shot it four times and sent it back to me and as you can see it's still not running that great so you know i i give brett a a, a d perhaps a d minus on their customer service i was expecting more from such a reputable company and they make great guns but their customer service doesn't live up to their firearm reputation if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.